What's up, CW fans? I have a Vibroplex straight key here. And yes, oh my goodness, it's a straight key. Can't believe it. But I do have one here. It's um, a friend of mine's. And I uh, just had, uh, took a little bit of time to do some cleaning on this and some uh, loving to get this baby back in shape. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward, uh, as far as straight keys are concerned, they're pretty uh, simple in, in terms of operation and how things work. The, the interesting thing is, so when you push down on this, it uh, actually makes contact between this and this. As you can see that there is a, like a nylon gasket underneath here to create some isolation between the base, which is uh, technically grounded. So you, you put the ground uh, wire on this lug here, or um, actually I don't even know if it really matters, but you put two wires on here, and when the two wires short out, they create contact with your radio, and your radio will send out a tone, or a, or a CW signal, essentially. And um, the couple of adjustments that we have is, in, I was going to say the interesting thing is, the, the contact point, see where it is up on the bar here? Uh, right underneath there, there is uh, the ability to adjust that contact. It looks like it can actually kind of come rearward just a touch. But you can adjust that contact point so it has, you know, solid, perfect contact with the base contact. And that's kind of a, a neat function. So when we push down on this, it makes contact, which is pretty cool. There is some uh, adjustments right here. So, of course, in a lot of the CW keys that we see, even the iambic stuff, there's a locking nut, and then there's like this little screw-in piece that can create some tension here. But you can also kind of move it back and forth. So if you want to back this screw out a little bit and push this screw in a little bit, you can do that so that you can adjust where the bar sits so it's right in the middle of the slab. So that's kind of cool. There is a tension adjustment up here. I had to get a new nut up here because it had gotten lost. So you can kind of screw this down and it increase the tension on the spring here. And you can also, when you push down on the CW key, um, you can see where it rests, this backstop uh, piece where it rests on this you know piece of um metal here so kind of uh kind of cool you get a lot of adjustment capability even on a straight key which is pretty cool it's uh got this uh, black base here uh, i want to clean up the black base a little bit and uh, it's got the the black handle i think you can get this in in red also and um it's a uh, it's it's really nice it's a really nice key i think it's uh pretty neat i, I will not be hanging on to it i'm going to give it back to a friend of mine and um, I will continue to maintain me not having any straight keys in my house. So apologies for all the straight key folks. All good. I love straight keys. Uh, just um, wouldn't see myself ever using one unless it was straight key night, which uh, sometimes I'll just take my paddle and flip it on its side and use that as a straight key just for straight key night. So anyways, if anyone has any questions, uh, really cool Vibroplex stuff. Um, one one little anecdote I wanted to let you know. Vibroplex does stock all, everything that you see here. And I did have to get a new nut up here. So I was able to get that from Vibroplex. And uh, on one of the other Vibroplex keys that I was kind of uh, cleaning up and getting into top working order, I needed to get a, a new screw piece on the side. And they were able to take care of that as well. Plus, you'll see on one of my other videos, uh, I do have a final Vibroplex key that I'm going to be doing a video on, and I was able to get some new finger paddle pieces for that because um, I, I think it had fallen and the finger paddle pieces broke. So look for that video um, maybe next. CW on, my friends.